Hello everyone, welcome to the Phone Museum. Today, I'm introducing uh, Amazon Fire HD 8 2018 edition. This one has 1280 by 800 pixel with 8 inch um, LCD display. In On front, there's a 2 megapixel fixed focus camera. On back, there's another 2 megapixel fixed focus camera and Amazon logo. And on the right side, there's an SD card slot. And other than that, nothing here. On the top, there's a volume locker and 3.5 headphone jack and microphone and micro type B charging port and power button. For left side, there's two stereo speakers and bottom size, nothing there. Uh, this one has uh, MediaTek MT8163V system on chip, which, which is ARM Cortex-A53 quad-core running on 1.3 GHz with Mali 2 Mali T720 uh, dual core GPU which clocked on 650 MHz and it also has 1.5 GB RAM either 16 GB or 32 GB of storage also it can extend up to 400 GB with micro SD card this one has Wi-Fi BGN and Bluetooth Bluetooth 4.0 but this one doesn't have a lack of GPS now I will introduce inside of software right now this is a lock screen you can see the time and the date and uh, bottom right there's a camera key you can go direct to the camera like so it's a little slow, but it works. <laughs> and you can just swipe up to unlock. And this is the uh, Amazon's uh, main home home screen. This run uh, Amazon's uh, Fire 6 OS, which is fork Android fork OS. So this is based on Android, but they didn't put any Google Play, play Store or any Google stuff. So, this in front there's a app. There are a bunch of apps you can pick on it, and when you swipe left, there's a for you page. Have a weather in my location, and uh, the Amazon movie thing. A little bright up here, so. And a recent app I used today. And right, there's an Amazon Books. So I can buy on the store and borrow. Same as a video. This is Amazon's video. And game and apps. So the games and apps download from the Amazon's app store. And the shop is the Amazon. The shop web page and same as Amazon's music those are all Amazon uh, ecosystem so if you are Amazon Prime then this whole ecosystem is very very good for you and to understand every technology is inside of a setting in setting, this tablet has internet, and in internet, you can go, you can change the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi or how much data used, and change to turn on the airplane mode. And for connected device, there's a Bluetooth, or USB, or printing, so you can connect to the wirelessly 
to print your uh, things on the tablet. Absent notif notification, there's a apps I download. There's a bunch of Amazon's on apps and the apps I downloaded. And there's an Amazon's app setting so you can directly go to this setting to change uh, Amazon's apps on setting. Like a maps, Amazon Music, Prime Video, like etc. And you can in here you can give a apps permission so which chip can use a camera or which chip can go to the con or look at your contact location microphone etc. Special app access so you can give a those a service to the other apps. And you can change for the app notification. Can I focus? For the battery, you can see the you can turn on the low power mode. Um, and when you want to turn on the power saving mode for automatically or not or schedules smart suspend and in the battery section you can go to a display setting and wireless setting directly so you can go to display setting so you can reduce bright light, bright light, brightness level or other stuff and go to wireless setting to turn up the wi-fi or turn on the airplane mode to save extra battery and settings panel there's a media volume alarm notification and you can also turn on and off for do not disturb and you can turn on the touch sound charging sound and screen lock sound at the storage you can manage storage in here so you can manage how many storage left in this this tablet and how many storage left in sd card security and privacy you can put on the passcode on here and also location based service you can give a permission to the using uh, Wi-Fi based on location or not those kind of stuff and my account there's a my Amazon account so you can go to change my account for the profile I can manage my profile and also I can create child profile. So which is similar to the uh, Samsung's kids mode. So I will show you how to set up the uh, children mode. In order to do that, I have to put my own account for the passcode. So I will set 0, 0, 0, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Finish. For child profile, uh, just temporary service temp, birthday, okay, it's the 11th. For a theme, let's go to this one and add profile. and done and when i click here i can go to the just set up child mode it take a little time actually it went to the uh, child uh, profile setting so in this setting you can give like time limit many storage age filter or add contact remove contact language preference 
extra those kind of stuff and in order to go to the uh, child mode you go to drop down or, or go to lock screen click here you can pick the your child child mode then it's switching to the child mode child mode have a its own home screen and it's a way different than uh, what you see in main profile it's about like few website probably kids are interested in uh, hmm. and a little theme they can download and there's camera and they can search and pretty much that's it so there's no additional app can download in here or do other thing to switch to your own profile either you go back to the lock screen where you can switch in here and also of course you set up the pin so you have to enter the pin as well three four five submit and it will switch to my main profile and it's good to go and parents control it's tablet as a little slow it's you can send it to the profiles up here accessibility so you in here you can change the like a high contrast text or change the different size of font like so or you put in default or change the color if you have a, a red green or blue yellow the sun subtitle and services for device option you can change your name your device name keyboard language date and time you can see the battery you can uh, access with search bar which display on the lock screen or not backup and restore system update we we'll start to factory default and about fire tablet and you can see the serial number and device device number sync device and developer option to turn in default the developer option is not in here in order to turn on the this option you have to go to about fire tablet and you tap serial number for seven to ten times it will pop up the developer option the developer option is about same as other android uh, smartphone or tablets developer option you can change the uh, usb debugging or you can turn on like animation scales like gps render and those kind of stuff And help is about the Amazon's um, little guidebook for this tablet and 
the boring stuff. For this tablet, um, this is pretty cheap tablet. So, and it had two megapixel front and rear camera, which both are fixed focus. So don't expect too much for the camera quality. It's not so great for the regular shot, regular shot or night mode, and you cannot take. A macro picture because it doesn't have a autofocus and video quality is all right it's better than what I expect for this tablet this video took from Amazon Fire 8 HD 2018 edition uh, right now it's 720p HD resolution the video quality itself is better than expect but EV the brightness changes so rapidly and it's lack of OIS so uh, the stabilization is not really good but for this price I think this is uh, this is okay quality for the price the screen is reflects so much so uh, direct sunlight is hard to see the screen and but the screen quality itself is pretty good for this this price point and for the speakers for the stereo speakers um they're pretty good or uh, better than what I expect um the reason I bought an 8 inch tablet instead of a 7 inch because this is a bigger screen and half, half gigabyte more RAM but that's not a big deal the big deal was stereo speaker instead of mono speaker in 7 inch so I bought this tablet to watching YouTube or Netflix videos and those kind of stuff this is perfect a uh, cheap iPad, the iPad, the brand new 7th generation or iPad Air 3 those speakers are two stereo speakers in the bottom so when you're watching movie the sound is coming from the only one side but this one has a what I say true stereo speaker so when you're watching movie it has a better uh, stereo uh, rear around surround sounding than other expensive tablet other than that I think for this price point I think this is still worth it in 2020 and yeah that's pretty much it thank you everyone and happy new year